we are going over a Li Cheng Ho game. Those of you who do not know who Li Cheng Ho was, Li Cheng Ho was um, a Korean professional who was on top of the Go world for, you know, a little over a decade. Yes, he was on top of the Go world, is what I'm saying. He's alive still, calm down. I'm just saying he's not number one anymore and hasn't been for a very, very long time. However, that does not mean that his games are not still interesting to see. Admittedly, might not be the highest caliber of games that you are used to, unfortunately. In some regards, anyway. I still think some of his moves are amazing. I'll probably always think that. But, you know, the likes of Park Chung Wan, the likes of Mr. KG, and maybe even good old Shibano can probably uh, take him out. What year is this from? Um, I'm not sure if you were alive when this, is, when this game uh, was actually played. This is from 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Goes back pretty far. But Black starts off taking a 4-4 opening, and now here is something that immediately made me sad. Ah, <sighs> He took the diagonal 4-4, Li Cheng Ho did. He didn't play in the upper left to invite anything from his opponent. Could invite diagonals, not diagonals, anything and everything instead. Unless the unless this began unless this game began with an improper record. Unless this began with an improper record. Yeah, he took diagonal. So maybe a little bit of a little bit of fear there. A little bit of fear there. He's not top of his game anymore. He ain't a number one, sitting pretty on his throne. The uh, style that took him out is super super aggressive play. So. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say where he is nowadays, right? Hard to say. Another four-four point from Black. I get sad when I guess the upper left corner wrong. Yeah, so that's something you can only do in pro games. You can only uh, guess move number one by white in pro games. Like, will he take this corner or this corner? Gonna be one of those days where I throw stones around apparently. That's gonna be good. So here we have an interesting opening. We have four fours from white, four fours from black, and I mentioned those colors completely in the opposite order. Approach Kama 3 3. You wanna go full alpha go? You wanna do this, this, this get sente and then like go back into here sai how dare you how dare you man wanting to go full on bleep bloop what's wrong with you but no black isn't going to approach and go into the three threes silly no he's going to go into the three threes immediately duh I mean, come on, three threes are amazing nowadays, right? Why would you approach? You don't, need, you don't need to approach to get permission to go into the three threes. Just hit him immediately. God. So, all right. It is now Li Cheng Ho's uh, opportunity to play against the bleep bloop. What are you going to do against the AI, against the early 3-3 invasions? Will he extend as one AI likes to do? Will he Hane? Will he Small Knight? He does, in fact, Small Knight. We have the attachment here. This is interesting, actually, because White decides not to do anything too crazy here. He's not going to like Hane and invite different variations where if we do this, it's kind of it's kind of awkward because after this move, what do we do? 
what do we do after that move? Because like if we play here, then this can be taken. And if we play here, we're inviting a lot of complication. We can push, we've got cuts. It's a bit, a bit awkward, right? A bit awkward, a bit awkward. So, all right. Not doing that. Instead, he's just going, all right, I'm going to play nice and simple. Simple go, gotta like. Black says, simple, you fuel. You were supposed to keep me in. Now you are going to die. Hane getting a wall. Black connects. And now this move is really, really important. This next move by white is super important. Because if we play the Hane, we're going to get Atari, and then that's Gote. If we extend, this group is already alive, so it's Gote. Right? So this is Gote. This is Gote. The Hane... The Hane would probably get cut, and that's just a fight, and it's really, really weird, right? So no, don't really see a reason for that. But since white is okay, and since black is okay right now, white says, I now have a wall. I will use my wall very effectively. So all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm, uh, I, I can dig it. We got Sente down here to get a wall and extend. So far, pretty basic. Everyone can follow along. It's a super San Rense. So, faced with overwhelming amounts of influence. Faced with overwhelming amounts of influence. What will we do now as black? Do we rush into Tengen to prevent the expansion into the middle? Do we counter with our own San Rense and see who San Rense can win supreme? Are we going to play in closures? K4. Um, let me look at the coordinates. My board's slightly different. Top of the board. I like that answer a lot, to be honest. I'm a fan of K4. I'm also a fan of questions. And KG Wannabe says, since I wasn't around when he was playing on Netmarble, I was wondering why he stopped playing on it. The reason why I stopped playing on it is because I stopped being able to connect to it. Don't know why. I just can't open the program anymore. It's not possible. But yeah. I like that move. But apparently TMTVL played this game because he is the one that said the 3-3. Because honestly, it's all about those territories, baby. That's all we need. As long as we keep getting them territories, who cares about the influence? So, all right. We've come full circle. We used to laugh at the players who took both four, uh, both three three points at the start of the game. I remember those games. At night showed us. That is something to be laughed at. We point and go, ha ha ha, that is stupid. And now apparently, um, uh, yeah, apparently now we do something different. We say, well, if you do that, you could be a professional Fordon. So much for laughter. So much for laughter. So, white extends. Black extends. White plays a smooth knight. And black says, all right, we are going to play normal 3-3 modern variations now. White says, okay, I can do that. I like you my corner. Or the not the corner, obviously, we lost the corner. I like you the wall. Now here's where the questions arise. Do we Hane? 
Do we go back into here? What do we do? Well, looks like this is where some of Li Cheng Ho's old styly times come back into play. Because even though we know what the point of the 3 3 invasion is, gonna get 3 3 invasions, gonna get Sente, ha ha ha, laugh at opponent, he decides to just extend. It's like, you know what? I just want my wall. I will give you exactly what you want and see what you do with it. Ah, sorry, sorry. Fumble fingers over here, then just ruined all the stones. Absolute 100% grade A sente. Mm, grade A sente. So what's black gonna do now? Be honest, chat. How many people want this? Be honest. You can be honest. How many people would be playing Tengen right now? I promise not to ban you. It's not even sector line. Shoulder hit D10 stone. Ooh, God, you want to go in deep. Shoulder hit D10 stone? That's pretty deep. KG wannabe, thank you very much for being honest. H10? I mean, I like H10. In fact, if I was teaching this game and we were in a normal sand rinse, aid, we had approach, pincer, corner, approach, pincer, corner, I would be like, yeah, sector line it and like do this kind of stuff, right? Because if your opponent plays here, you can like play here and then we'll play here. And then of course we connect and that's defensive. And then we could play like here. And then we could play like here on this board. We could even play like here. And this is going to be like not worth that, right? So this makes sense. I, I, I like, I actually like the H10 idea. But here's the thing. I don't want to like the H10 idea. Who can tell me why I don't like this? Who can tell me why I don't like this at all? I agree that would be pretty decent for black. And why do I hate saying that? Can anyone tell me? Nothing to do with Sente. Why does it hurt my soul to think that is actually okay? Here's the reason. Because the right is too open? No, none of that, none of that. This is even more fundamental. I lost you three words into the explanation. Okay, so getting a wall here and getting a wall here is the same as if we approach the San Rinse, he pincered us, we went into the 3-3, and then we just got a wall, right? I'm doing this kind of quickly, so I don't mind actual stone placements. And then we took Sente and approached, and then he pincered us again. And then we were like, no, I'll just do this again. And then we took Sente and like played the outside, right? But you can kind of do this sort of thing because you're not supposed to do the double pincer because you wind up in this sort of thing, right? So instead you're usually supposed to like, you could do it once but usually after like the second one we do something different like we attach here or we just back off or we do something else right but we don't usually double pincer because we get into that game which is kind of easy to handle and that's kind of the game that we're in here too but unlike this instance where it could be argued we got into that position because black wasn't supposed to double pincer here we're getting into this position, but white didn't do anything wrong, right? Like we could still be in that kind of a position despite, despite that. So I refuse to say this is wrong. 
I refuse to say this board is wrong. This board is awesome. But thank, but unfortunately, white doesn't uh, or black doesn't p uh, play on the outside and then just kind of try to eat the edges, right? Doesn't try to go for like this kind of game. Whoops. Doesn't kind of just try to go for this kind of game where we just kind of like poke, 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 and then like try to build. Instead, he decides, I hate this influence. I hate all of this influence. I hate everything this influence stands for. And all of this can go burn in just all, just all, all, all up in all of it. So that's interesting. Yeah, he made this thing and now he wants to burn it down. White says, why you do this to me? And Black says, because I can. And White just calmly says, why you do this to me? And Black says, because you can do nothing about it. So, all right. We push those walls to fourth line. And those fourth lines, keep in mind can be heavily reduced later, right? So this is why this game made it to the real board. I would not want to be in White's position, ever, just, just ever. So instantly I'm curious how do we do anything here? What if white caps the invading stone? Um, he probably loses the game. If we cap this stone, you are at the mercy of your opponent. Sorry, I'll, I'll cap it. Because now you've just cut off one of your sides. Right? And it's really, really hard to keep trying to attack someone when you're going to fall under attack. So you could actually play this way. And you know what? Black can actually connect solidly here. You can say, I'm going to keep you in. And Black will laugh at you. Because you need to respond to that. And then Black's going to be like, yeah, you keep responding to me. And you'll be like, okay. And then he's just going to leave. And now we have to worry about getting cut off. Play a few days ago. Seems anytime I try to make a, an effort to plan out a real board, I see a game pop up that is more interesting and worth going over. So, okay, we played here. And Black's like, or White's like, I'm going to ma maintain connection. Be nice and solid. And White, and now we're threatening to, you know, cut White off. So, that's a no. And then we made shape. So, what do we do from here? What do we do from here? That's what we all like to know. Any recommendations? How many of you are pros? What do we play here? How many of you are pros? How many of you are pros? R10? I think R10 is over here, right? R6? There is a thing on this board you are missing. G13? I think someone just mentioned it. Assuming G13 is what I think it is. Let me look at my, let me look at my things. Ooh, no, sorry. Eh, a little bit wrong. 
So essentially what we're looking for, but I think you're on the right idea though. I think you're on the right idea. Essentially the, the idea is this. We will cry tears of blood if we see this move on the board, right? Can everyone agree to that? Like, what do we do here? Do we... Hane? Like, what is the plan here? If our opponent actually cuts this off. Like, that's... I don't like E. This makes me feel sad in places. Because now this is almost dead. So, like, we connect... And then, I think we can probably resign at that point. Like, if we play away, I'm the follow-up here is so harsh, I don't know, maybe we lose the game. We would lose to one move. Because, like it or not, this position is not one we can leave as white. We have to make sure... This does not connect to this, and this stays isolated. If this does not stay isolated, if this is not a weak group, the influence does not matter. We will never do anything with that influence. So then, what Black got in, he stole our corners, he gave us influence, we played away, he connected up, and now we can't attack. So we need to be able to spot this move. Very, very vital. Black is like, I would like to turn, if that's okay with you. And white says, this is fine with me. I am prepared. Turn, heathen. Now to be fair, the turn here is huge because we can start making stuff again. Black is somehow botting. <laughs> but alright, black gets the turn in. This is now isolated. Now I'm getting more and more nervous for our boy Lee Cheng Ho. But Li Cheng Ho isn't just the old Li Cheng Ho, where he would give up whatever to his opponent. This is the new Li Cheng Ho 4.0, where he will try to counterattack you. So, alright, time to leave. Diagonal on out. And now we gain shape by poking at black's shape. Again, one of those really, really important things. Because if we picture this as a black stone at some point in the future, then we have shape being given away. So, all right, we poke. And... Black says, I will have eyes. You shall not do anything to me. Odd clamp, but okay, I'm, I'm down with the clamp. It's probably one of the weirdest shapes I've seen in a Go game in a long time. Like we have this wall here, right? Into this weird clamp. Into a tiger's mouth. So we have like... A triangle here we have a tiger's mouth we're, we're clamped there's like an opening here ish uh, they say that strong player okay, yeah if you want to improve you always have to counterattack. the longer you respond to your opponent the more they're being able to do what they want to do which I'm assuming is going to be win the game so you need to put them back on the back foot and get them to stop that. So you are right. First idea of 
defending whenever you think you need to defend yourself, you need to look for a way to see if you can counterattack for that defense. Preferably while not strengthening the thing that's attacking you. Because if you strengthen the thing that's attacking you, it gets stronger too, right? So you're inadvertently strengthening the attack on yourself. But here, he's leaning against this group because this is already strong, right? So if this gets stronger, who cares? Who cares? No one cares. Now we split because attack seems over. And it seems over because we can't envision pincers doing a thing here. We can't envision caps doing a thing here. It's just we can't find another stone here that works well against the mess in the middle. So we play here. But black is says, OK, I'm going to do this. Hello, weary penguin. So black defends himself in the middle because he knows he's the weakest thing on the board. And he's not going to believe for one instant that that stone over there is just trying to separate. If, if it can, it will come back and attack the group in the middle if it's not strong. So, all right. Tari. And we take because we done run out of liberties. Sente, sente, sente. So we go and approach. That's like 10 fake Panookis on 300 points. How do you get 10? It's only two. Now, I do want to feel like I want to apologize while I'm going over this. One thing that I've not been enjoying lately is how the stones have been appearing on the board. I do intend to get thicker stones, hopefully, this year. So they have more of a presence. We're attacking this group because it can't get any kind of base. On it. Got a responder, we're going to get killed in the corner. Atari. Can't Atari here, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. And then these stones will get cut off. So we can only play here. Now what's the point of that chat? What's the point of the throw in here? What does it afford us? I mean, what are we gonna do? Just like connect now and be like, okay, I did nothing. What's what's the point of this? To cut off that white dude. Here's the uh, reason behind it. We can't Atari here, because that's self Atari, so we have to go underneath. Now you might say, but who cares? Because after the connection here, we just take like so, but it then makes this interesting because there's a liberty shortage on those stones. So that's very cool. That's very cool indeed. Black pushes just to make certain that this isn't going to be sente. So we push. And white, of course, blocks. So this uh, result here actually winds up giving shape to white. Black pouts and says, I'm going to poke you. Why? Because I can. It's like, OK. Protects against the other poke. Because we could play here, and then we're going to get poked again. And then maybe that stone dies. So all right, I'm going to play here. Now again, same thing. We could get poked, but then we just turn, and then those stones are dead. 
So, all right, all right, we're kind of resisting, kind of resisting. So, pokes over here. And once again, be honest, chat, who here likes White's position? E19 lost 22%. Oh my god, are you bleep blooping this game while I'm going over it? Seriously? You're bleep blooping this game while I'm reviewing it? <sighs> Someone explain why I should or should not like the position. I have no clue. No, I'm just curious. Who sat, who like looks at this board and says, I want to be white right now? What does bleep blooping mean? So bleep blooping mean he has an AI up, probably uh, Leela Zero, Lizzie, whatever the crap. And they're inputting the moves into the AI to see what percentage of who's ahead. Looks evenish. See, I don't want to be the, I don't want to be white in this position. I hate being under attack like this when I'm not certain where my potential is. But here's the thing. Here's the thing and why this thing, why this particular style of play is so irritating. If we count, which I would never do ever, but I will for for the moment. If we count how many points black has, right, we don't really get very high count. So the fact that we have Comey, which could be as easy as like one, two, three, can't count that yet, four, five, six, and we have some territory here, it's not really that bad. Like, Black's not dead anywhere, but he's not making anything. Right now, this kind of style of play is kind of like the party of no, where all he's doing is, like, White opened up 4-4 with the potential of, like, growing something, and Black's like, no. It's like, I'm gonna, no. Influent, no. Make shit, no. But while he's just going, no, 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 he's not really developing large points for himself, you see. So, I mean, that's a thing. So, all right. First impression, we don't want to be white. But then once we realize how little territory black has, it's like, well, I mean, we can so far, as long as that fool don't grow. So we will see. We will see. Connects on up. And now we see Black trying to make some point twos. Took large night for himself. It does seem like a lot of low down professionals play this play the no style. Mm. Depends on the player. Depends on the player. Time to 3-3? Three, three. Oh my god, that's so rude. No, 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 no. We're under attack here. So the first thing that White does is ask if he can connect while enlarging this area. It's actually really quite cool because it takes away good endgame. Because remember, Li Cheng Ho is endgame master. Like things like this would be irritating because we'd have to fall back. And then here we'd have to fall back. But instead, he's under attack, so he says, hey, dude. Uh, tell you what, you just chill, let me connect, and I just took away large endgame from you. And in this kind of style of play where we're not really making many points, him taking up maybe three, six, maybe nine extra, depending on like how that endgame went, isn't small, right? It's not small. Territories. Double approach. This was one approach. He ignored to defend. Doubles. <clears throat> so.
So this is interesting because black is now completely in love with building this corner. It's like, all right, I got, I got, I got. Now if I really, really get and he stays small, we're good. White follows up, sweeping that base. But here's the thing. Here's the thing with all of the problem that we have here. We don't really want to answer in a whole bunch of different ways. Like here is one first way that we could answer, right? And then we could go into here and then into here. And then we could keep growing here. And then watch as we start growing here. And then suddenly that left, that's a lot of friggin' points, right? So that's one way we don't really want to answer this, right? That's one way we don't want to answer that double approach. Uh, what else don't we want to do? Obviously, we don't want to just do this. Everyone can see that really easily, right? Because that's just going to be worse. Because we're growing again. So black's like, screw it. I'm making myself larger. And now white's like, okay, then I'm going to play here. Because maybe if we did play this one, we could play this way. And then, you know, we extend again after the connection. And then maybe, like, attack or something. That could be a way forward for white. Or for black, sorry. But instead, he did this one. He gave a base to the weak group on the board. Right? White's got the brilliant idea. He's like, I know you're trying to attack me, fool. I'm making a base. And now we're also really concerned about this area continuing to grow. So he's trying something about that as well. We double Hane here because chances are we're going to get Sente. We Atari here. Fine. We Atari here. Fine. But if he connects that, we have Sente. So he can't connect that. Now he needs to, oops, sorry. Now he needs to, um, I actually just noticed that. Yeah, he double approached two space, not one. That's interesting. My brain didn't even process it. Because usually we see, okay, this would make sense because we're getting a two-space extension. That we don't normally see. A double two-space approach onto a 4-4 four four stone. Huh. Interesting. Same idea, though. You lean, this grows, this grows, this grows, that turns into territory. So black did this first. And now we see territory falling to a certain someone. Taking all the points. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that, a cutting point. Mind if I take it for myself? Uh, no, you don't. Emergency measures. Sacrifice. Make all the stones messy. 
tarry it back. Watch it get connected. And then we connect that one as well. And then clean up some stones. There we go. Are you ever tempted to eat the edible white pieces? Uh, I mean, if they were edible, I suppose that would be kind of interesting. Uh, but we're not exactly playing with white chocolate over here. That's kind of, those are kind of glass. It's kind of glass. That's kind of hard on the, hard on the teeth. Hard on the teeth. They're Mentos. Oh my God. If you had, if you were playing with Mentos under the rule that you had to eat the stones that were captured, you just wouldn't try to kill anything. That would be disgusting. It's like, well, that's a 25 stone group. Bon appetit. White chocolate, though. I need 25 white chocolate pieces. I like white chocolate. I know some of you guys probably don't, but I do. Defend. Defend. Just taking the points. Keep in mind, on a board where there's not many points for black, all of these things are really, really important. Especially on a game where he is known for his endgame, the Li Cheng Ho is. He's not letting you get in all of those large moves, is he? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can't out end game the Li Chang Ho's. But I do like the growing here for black, I have to say. He's making use of this. What kind of heathen doesn't like white chocolate? Dude, some people don't. I never know what to do around middle game. All right, so around middle game, um, let's undo this. Boop. So you know the answer, but how did we get to the answer? Well, Li Cheng Ho is like very point oriented. So he's reducing end game against himself, right? He's reducing the idea that you know his opponent can play here, and then here, and then here and then here because like this we're far enough into the game where these kind of things are going to be sente right so instead he's like no i'm going to play that first and if you play here i'm gonna do that to you and not me right that's the difference of here and here versus here and here so for yeah you get the idea uh but he didn't actually respond, so it could be large, much larger than that. Um, was there three captured stones? I would go ahead and say there were. Were there? Or were there two? Just... I honestly don't know. I'm going to not care. Um, anyway, so back to your question, trying to find out like what we can do here, right? Well, do we have a weak group? That's first question. First question, is there a weak group? Well, White's last move was to play here before that stuff, because he had a weak group and there was things that you could do in there, so he defended that. This could be connected, so it's not really weak right now because we can connect this or we can do cool stuff against this. So we're fine there too. Does black have a weak group? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So we probably want to do something with this. This is this is a weak group, right? This isn't quite alive yet. So we have to have our eye on here. Any other places to have our eye? Uh, we can't really invade this. This, if it's not alive, we should just like never play Go ever again. Um, so it's coming back down to here. This is the weak group. Both players should be interested in it. Whether, you know, white goes and tries to start, you know, splitting. Or 
black starts defending. Now the added bonus of black defending here is we're developing. So if we were keeping a tally, like I've got plus one points for defending this area making territory, or I've got like plus one for defending my group so that territory doesn't disappear or get shrunk. Um, like that's all very interesting. But suddenly we have plus one for the defense, but also plus one for growth. So here, this is like the only move we can find on the board that actually does multiple things at once. So it's very, very valuable. Very, very valuable. Long story short about things to do in Endgame. So black folks here, it's sente, it's defensive, it's growing, right? Sente, good. Defensive, good. Growing, good. Next up, taking away shape. Feeling that that's going to force a connection. So sente again, right? But if we meekly connect and let our opponent grow, that's going to be too much. So we come in. Black's like, no, you cannot come in. You can't come in. I kill you. Like, no. I can't come in. And he's like, no, you can't come in. I kill you. And he's like, no, I will come in. And Black is like, I say again, no, you can't come in. I kill you. It's like, this is getting rather tiresome. I will come in, I will kill your stones, and you will be happy about it. Ha 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 ha, but what if I connect? Then I will drop down. Ha 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 ha, but what if I Atari? And then I will Atari you back. And then I take your stone, stupid fuel. And thus, you cannot come in. It's like, okay. You got me there. I'll just try to eat your stone over here then. No, you are not. It's like, okay. If I connect, then I can play here and eat your stones again. Which is why I will defend them. Okay. 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 All of that seems pretty reasonable. However, 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 there was another point to all of this. What was the other point to this? And more importantly, why does White believe he can play elsewhere now? How do we know White can play elsewhere now? How do we know that white can play elsewhere right now? Ba bum bum. It's a really easy answer. J19 is sente for eyes and more importantly, more importantly, more importantly, it is gote to stop that, right? We have to play here in order to prevent an I being played here. Because we Atari, that's a solid connection, and then we connect, right? Or if black plays over here, then we can Atari, because that's an I. Then we can drop down, which is threatening these stones. It's also an I. So we cannot be killed here. 
this group is a hundred percent alive unless we get seriously baked and forget about Mei. as long as we don't do that we're good so threaten to kill stone white says no you will not do that Try to keep him out of the middle. Don't mind me. Just coming on in. Black's in full retreat, trying to keep all them pointers. But there's other important moves to be played now, because that is in a little bit of trouble if it does not respond. So okay, now we need to live here. So we push. And we push. Great endgame, by the way. Mmm. Just look at that endgame. So got that in for free. Got the large moves in here for free. And then we go boom. I come in. What exactly is Mei? Mei, uh, Lulu PhD, I think that says, or an N, I'm not really sure. I'm across the room. Uh, but Mei is the idea that you are fine because if w your opponent plays one move, you can play something else. Ignore where my fingers actually are on the board right now. Let's just say we needed one of these two points to live. If one of them gets taken, we have the other. As long as we remember that, it's cool. If they play here, we'll play here. If they play here, we'll play there. But if we forget and they play there, and then we do something else, and then I take the other point, then bad things happen. So essentially, it's uh, an if-then statement. If they play this, then we play this. If they play this, then we play this. That is Mei. And try to cut off. White says, you cannot cut me off because I've got connections. Wait, what happened? Oh, he, wait, what? Oh, yeah, okay. Guitars, I got you. And then white takes, and then I fired a stone across the board. Oops. There we go. Have to be a little bit careful here because we do need these things called eyes and we aren't a hundred percent here just yet. So we connect like so. And now we're getting reduced like so. But it's okay because we are going to connect like so. Because that's a huge threat to connect. So this is again, good end game. We're not just reflexively connecting back. Right, 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 right. We're like, okay, I'm under attack. I can connect here because if you don't play here, you're dead. So, okay, I will connect. Boop. And then white's like, okay, then I'll take your stone. And black's like, okay, you will take my stone. Atari, or semi-Atari, sorry. That's an actual Atari. Now we can't cut this off because we'll atar get Atari and killed. Now we enlarge our base. White cuts us off. Be very, very careful about your eyeballs. Gets retaken. Doesn't really matter though. We'll just go ahead and Atari or semi Atari like so. And now the question is 
Very important question, chat. Very important question. Most important question. Hugest L most important O question O ever O. Where's 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 Black's points? It's a really important question. Where 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 exactly does Black have points? He still has these. Got, you know, two, maybe three, a few more if he takes Gote and takes the stone. He's got like one, two. Uh, do we count that one? Not sure about that. Maybe two three up here maybe four so we have four four confirmed two extra here so that's six that's comey that's good comey's good right comey's good and then we've got like um we've got a corner and then like one two three extra points you know what four extra points there uh Shit. So the question we have to ask ourselves, chat, is does this corner equal this? That's the important question. That does this corner equal that? No, 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 no. Okay, next important question. Again, we're so full of important questions right now. Um does black have any potential right now? Kind of, kind of not, huh? Not, not really? Okay, that's, that's a problem. Also, black has to answer this move. Because if black doesn't answer the move, that gets even smaller. Now that's our corner. Attack upper right, you can't, it's alive. All of it's alive. All, all, all of that. All, all that is alive. Oh, for white, yeah, you could attack the shite out of that. You can like play here, drop stones again. That, I'm good at that lately. And then you could like play here as a pokey point thingy, majigger. And then you can just like, I don't know, keep fire bombing that center so there's no points there. That's cool. That's cool. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that, that's an issue. Such a bigly issue that uh, Black resigns. Black's like, there's nothing else I can do here. The amount of moves that are needed are insane. Because uh, also, I would like you to keep in mind that this is Sente. Right? Because we can't allow white to Hane. So this is one of the next moves that's going to be played here. And at that point, white's probably just going to go ahead and connect up that as well. And if you deny the connection, like you turn, you deny that connection, there's me I, but before there's me I, there's this I, there's this, right? We'll play here. Black has to then def defend. Then we'll play here. And then we have to defend. And then we're going to play here, and if we don't play that, if we don't defend that, which is very fun, let me tell you, so much fun, then we're kind of in trouble, right? Kind of in trouble. We're just losing more points. So yeah, black 
Captain 33 Invasion Man. Not only 33 Invasion Man, he was 33 Invasion Man to literally living in the middle of the board. Like, actually. He took both 33s and. Like, the only way he could have lived more in the middle is if he actually played here for another eye. Right? Yeah. Sad part about that is when you're doing all of that, you're not making territory. When you're not making territory, you lost. 